I have a new item today to show you. It is a pressure cooker. So let's take a look at the box. This is the name of the company that makes this electric pressure cooker. And that's the model. Uh, here's a picture of it. Very nice. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Here it is and this one's a pretty big one. This is a six quart and it's advertised as a 12-in-1 pressure cooker. Um, I usually just call these one pots because one pot that kind of pretty much does just about everything. Um, things that it does, soups and uh, meats, uh, a slow cooker, yogurt, a steamer, I like that function. Uh, bean and chili, that's a big one that I like to do, the soups and the bean and chili. Cake, never tried a cake in one of these before. Then there's the rice, multi-grain things, like if you're making uh, different, different grains. And um, the other functions too, this is the LED readout. When it's turned on, you'll see that that's, that'll light up. You can um, have things to keep warm, delay a timer if you want to have the uh, cooking start at a particular time, uh, keep warm. Um, so there's a lot of different things you can do here. Uh, let's take a look inside and lift it up. Here's the top of it. This is the part, which is the little pressure part of it that uh, where the little steam comes out. I really love the new pressure cookers. I remember the old style ones I had as a kid. Uh, really loud and noisy and kind of scary. <laughs> so these are pretty quiet. Uh, so that's uh, the lid there that you've got. And this one actually comes with a steamer attachment or steamer little tray, uh, which is nice. I've and then on the bottom, it also has this too. Uh, and this is the inside part where you put your food. It's easy to take out and clean. Um, also gives you here, tells you the maximum amount that you can put in here and also lets you know how much water and liquids in there. It is uh, a non-stick surface. Most of the other ones I've seen are, are just stainless steel. So it's non-stick and very, very big, very roomy. And then this is the inside. And on the bottom is the heating element. Let's get it ready. i got to clean it up. Uh, I'm going to test it today on some bean soup. Normally bean soup on the stovetop takes hours to cook. And you have to constantly be babysitting over it, stirring it, checking it. Uh, not with these. So I'm going to see how well this one does. I got my bean soup ready. Got everything I need in here. I got the water, spices. Just throw a bunch of stuff in here. That's the, the beauty of these kind of things is that you just throw a bunch of stuff in and then set it and walk away and wait for the machine to be off and then your food's ready. So I got my beans, I've got the spices, I got a little bit of potato, I've got onion. So this is what it looks like beforehand. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and then uh, we'll set it and then I will um, come back when it's done. This is really, really simple. Okay, so I, uh, what do I want to make? I want to make bean soup right here bean soup I hit that see how it says 30 minutes now that's 30 minutes of cook time it does have to warm up and what that means you see the light right now is doing that that means that uh, it's warming up and um, so it's working on getting the pressure up and also heating up to get to the right temperature and once it gets to that then it'll start counting off the 30 minutes. It's uh, moved on to the next phase which is means that it now is at the green light means maximum pressure plus it had to heat it up. It's now at the 27 minute mark. If you can see it'll be counting down 
And now, see, it's now only 26 minutes, and then when it hits the 30 minutes, or zero minutes from 30, because this is how long it takes to make the bean soup, it'll be ready to go. And I'm excited. So see, it's at maximum pressure. 26 minutes left. I'll come back in 26 minutes. 30 minutes passed, and it's already cooked. Uh, it took about... Uh, I'd say uh, 10 minutes for it to heat up and build the pressure and then 30 minutes to actually cook. And then after that, then I flipped this to the here, from here to here. It let out the uh, pressure, so now I'm ready to take the top off. Uh, so let's check it out in the other room. The pressure has released, so I'm going to open the top now. Wow, this looks really good. So I had a about a 10 minute warm up and then it cooked for 30 minutes. And these are beans that usually take for hours to do. And then also the sweet potato, which was very hard. Um, this is this bean soup I made. Looks really, really good. Everything is cooked perfectly. Um, I didn't have to babysit it over the stove and I didn't have to keep going and stirring it so I can see that it wasn't over boiling or anything. Um, I'm really, really happy with this. Alright, so my uh, conclusion on what do I think of how well it did. Um, very, very happy with, uh, with this pressure cooker one pot. Um, I love it. Uh, I have used a few others that were a bit more complicated in terms of of uh, once you get the things in there, how to you know what to press, and then uh, I, I don't like the ones that require too much filling around here. I want to put the food in and hit one button and then come back later when it's done. That, that's that's the beauty of this kind of thing. Uh, so I'm very, very happy with it. I'll put the link for it below the video, and it's definitely worth checking out, and I like it a lot. If you like this video, feel free to hit subscribe, and let me know your thoughts in the comments. Bye.